MyPMS is a full-featured, easy-to-use service to manage any form of lodging business. Unlike conventional property management systems of the past, MyPMS is simply a website that users can log on to using a standard web browser like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari. Today we will review the basic front desk operations, how to create a booking, search for existing bookings, as well as the check-in and check-out processes. You will notice the software comprises of tabs and screens within those tabs. Simply click on the screen you would like to access from the tab drop-down, or in the gray title bar if the tab is already selected. There are clickable links at the top of the screen. For instance, the help link will take you to the support area where you can enter support tickets as well as read knowledge base articles to help you get the most out of your software. The arrivals, in-house, and departures links are convenient ways to quickly access bookings you may need to work with today. The search box allows you to use an active search on room number, guest name, or simply a credit card swipe to display bookings that are active. The system date displays today's current business day for the software. Keep in mind this date is managed by the night audit screen and determines which bookings show up in the arrivals and departures lists. Let's take a look at the booking creation process. There are three main screens to create an individual booking. Booking by Inquiry, Booking by Availability, and the Tape Chart. The most basic way to make a reservation is to use the Inquiry method. That is done by pressing the word Booking on the top level menu. This will take you to a screen where you select a date range, and then answer a few questions, like how many guests, and what source code is appropriate for the reservation. Based on the information you provided, the system displays the possible rates for all nights by room type with a description of the rate plan. Select the room type and the rate the guest prefers and you will be directed to the new booking page where you can select and edit rates, enter guest information, and save the booking. We will discuss the new booking page a bit later. The advantage of the inquiry page is the ability to select a specific rate plan and view average daily rates for each room type. Let's click on booking by availability. To make a booking from the availability screen, simply click on the first date of stay and then left click on the last date of stay, unnecessary if it's a one night stay, and select New Booking. This will direct you to the familiar New Booking page, which we will discuss later. The advantage of the availability page is to see the perspective of your availability by room type from a bird's eye view. Third way to create an individual booking is the tape chart. To make a booking from the tape chart, select the first date of stay, then the last date of stay, and select New Booking. This will direct you to the familiar New Booking page. From the tape chart screen, many other functions can also be done. You can change a guest room number by simply dragging and dropping the booking to a different room. You can also provide basic housekeeping functions on a per room basis from the tape chart. On the left hand side of the page, room numbers are listed with the room type in parenthesis. If the cell is yellow, then the room is dirty. If blue, it is clean. You can change the status of the room by clicking on the cell. A menu list will appear 
and you simply click on the new status. This allows you to quickly and easily mark a room clean or dirty or out of order. The advantage of the tape chart is the ability to view specific room number availability as well as visually seeing all bookings on the same screen. Now let's talk about the new booking page. Let's create a booking. I will use the booking by availability page for this example and we'll create a booking for two nights and press the new booking button. This is the new booking page where you can select and edit rates, enter guest information and payment details. Any changes to the number of guests can be made here. A for adults, C for children, I for infants. If your business assigns room numbers prior to check-in, you can select from the list of available room numbers here. Keep in mind, if you are using the tape chart, this number is auto-populated. And if you need to adjust the rate plan, you can select from the rate list. The guest name triggers an easy search. If possible, select one of the guest records from a past stay by clicking on the name to select it. If the guest has stayed before, all their contact information automatically be loaded into the booking. And any guest notes in the guest comments field. Lastly, select a source, guest type, and credit card information in the Guarantee By field. Then press the Complete Booking button to save your booking. This will automatically block availability from the online booking channels. A summary of the booking with confirmation number will display. Clicking on any of these links Will take you back to the booking you just created. To apply an advanced deposit or payment, press the Folio tab. Select the payment type and enter the payment amount. Then press Apply Payment button. To print a confirmation letter, simply press the Letters tab, select the letter from the drop-down menu, Press Send Email, and then Send Mail button. Congratulations, you have completed your first booking. Now let's look at how to search for existing bookings, as well as the check-in process. There are many ways to search for a booking in the MyPMS software. You can select the guest from the arrivals list, or locate the booking from the tape chart. You may also use other search methods like the quick search fields in the front desk screen. Or the search bookings page located in the booking tab drop-down list. Using the active search field at the top of the screen, enter a room number, a partial name, or full but misspelled name. Or swiping the guest credit card in the active search field will bring up the guest booking associated with that credit card, as well as capture the credit card swipe data. Regardless of the search method, my favorite is the arrivals list. Once you access the booking, there are a few steps to consider prior to activating the check-in button. For instance, if you need to add a credit card or additional credit card to the booking, simply go to the Guarantee By field or the Manage Credit Card screen. 
if your business requires payment at the time of check-in, you can do so in the Folio tab. You can also use the Letters tab to print up a registration card for the guest to sign. From here, just press the check-in button and the check-in process is complete. Notice how the booking status is set to active. The status on the tape chart changes and the booking now displays on the in-house list. Now let's talk about the checkout process. On the day of departure, the guest will display in the departures list. Select the guest to access the booking. The booking must have a zero balance on all folios in order to check out. If you attempt to check out a booking with a balance, you will get a warning that the folio is not balanced and be directed to the folio page. As long as the night audit process has automatically posted the nightly room rent and tax charges to the folio, by default, the payment amount due should already be in the payment amount field. Therefore, you only need to select the payment type, then press Apply Payment to pay off the balance. At this time, you can print a copy of the folio for the guest's receipt. Now press the checkout button to officially check out the guest. The status on the tape chart changes and the booking is no longer in the departures list. Congratulations, you have just learned the basic front desk operations, how to create a booking, search for existing bookings, as well as the check-in and check-out processes. Remember to click on the help link to find more useful information and videos on software operations, as well as frequently asked questions. We hope you enjoy your use of the Booking Center MyPMS software.